right, you're watching NFL Now, NFL Network. We're presented by IKEA. We are 16 days away from the draft. If you watch the Senior Bowl, and this is his Jackson State video, then you noticed Aubrey Miller from the very first play of the game. A second team, APFCS All-American. A first team, HBCU All-American. A guy who had, last year, 12 TFLs and a couple of sacks. The year before that, 11 and a half sacks for Jackson State. A guy who joins us live right now from Jackson, Mississippi on NFL Now. Aubrey Miller, how are you, man? I'm good, man. I'm blessed to be here. How about you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How is this pre-draft process treating you? You blew it up at the Senior Bowl. Uh -huh. Obviously, you didn't get the whole combine thing, but we're hearing your name more and more, and we're just over two weeks away. I mean, I understood my role and what I had to do, so um, just putting in the work is just bringing everything that I have coming for me. Uh, just understand that I'm not done, but uh, it's been very fair. Um, like I said, it's, it's keeping me in a position where I have to keep working and make sure that my name is known and make sure that I'm being seen. And, uh, yeah, so it's been fair. It's been fun as well. Like I said, people notice you immediately, I think, and I was watching the Senior Bowl over the weekend. Don't ask, you know, just lazy weekend. I think the very first tackle of the game, you drilled a guy by the sideline. And and if people hadn't noticed you, they noticed you then. And you, you had an interesting path here. You went from Missouri, so you went from an SEC school to Jackson State, where these last two years, you kind of wowed people. Tell us your journey, Aubrey, how you went from SEC to getting coached by Deion Sanders. Um, you know, being uh, recruited by Coach Barry Odom, that's what was a great guy that I was being coached on. I mean, he showed me a lot of things as far as putting me around the right guys, as far as developing for the game. And then, uh, you know, trying to find a new place uh, to be that man and therefore, I landed with Coach Prime as he recruited me as far as changing the, the dynamic of HBCUs and also making history. Um, so this kind of what led me to in the position that I am now, um, actually going for a different type of uh, accomplishment and everything else just came with it, just winning and uh, being there for my teammates and also just, like I said, winning everything else just came with working hard and the determination we had in the game. And it's a similar path that James Houston took right your former teammate he went from florida and sec school to jackson state got drafted by the lions last year he was in the east west game you were in the senior bowl and then second half of the season james houston just blew up for detroit he was a sack machine aubrey do, do you see a similar path for you now at the next level um absolutely uh, he just opened the door for a lot of us um, not just me and the thing is uh, we already know the type of position that we're in we have to just keep working to let our play do the talking um, so, yes, I, I see myself exactly the way. And uh, like I said, man, walking by faith and not by sight, you can't go wrong. Hey, what would you learn from Coach Prime? Um, I learned how to be a pro. Uh, being a pro speaks on a lot of levels as far as character-wise, discipline-wise, um, being smart, being fast, tough. Just, you know, those things that we always went, uh, went about, he made sure that he installed that in us. Um, and like I said, man, learn how to be a pro the way I talk. Um, how I carry myself, how I talk to teammates, um, the effort-wise. I mean, you can't be coached on them if you're not coming with effort, running to the ball consistently. So he taught you a lot of things to get you ready for the pro level. Aubrey, we say this is a long process. It's been a long process for anyone who transfers, obviously. There's a COVID year in there as well. Dude, you, you graduated high school 2017. How, how badly do you just want to get on to the next stage in life and find out where you're going? Um, it can't come fast enough, uh, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not going to rush it because, you know, everything's on God's time and not my time. So only thing I can do is make sure I'm taking care of my body, uh, make sure I'm keeping my mobility to an all-time high, make sure I'm stretching very well. And like I said, stay disciplined as far as workouts, uh, sleeping schedule, the things that I put into my body. So therefore, when the day comes, I'm already ready to go. I know you had your pro day recently. I also know you've been working out in Florida with guys like Rob Gronkowski, Leonard Fournette. What'd they teach you? Anything? Um, I mean, you just see those type of guys and how they carry themselves um, as far as learning from that. Uh, and, uh, of course, there's way more NFL vets that was in the building uh, that was putting their work. But like I said, to see how consistent they were, um, how they worked, how they separated themselves from the other guys, you know, the things that they do to make sure that they stay a vet and, and an all-time high guy as far as playing this game of football. And, uh, of course, Robert Lukowski said, dude was huge. You know, he still stays consistent being outside and working out. So, like I said, uh, just continue being around guys like this is going to only guide you in the right direction. Rob Gronkowski, he's big. He's kind of goofy. 
Pretty good at football, though. Yeah, just a little bit. No one forced more fumbles last year in FCS than this guy right here, Aubrey Miller. Aubrey, congrats on everything you did at Jackson State. Can't wait to see what you do next year. Thank you. I appreciate it. It means a lot. Thank you, sir. Aubrey Miller from Jackson State.